Hold, now before listening to this audiobook, you must have read it beforehand in order to revise effectively. And now, you can subscribe to our Instagram handle and all links given in description. In phylum, Echinodermata, these animals have an endoskeleton of calcareous ossicles and, hence, the name Echinodermata, spiny bodied, figure 4.14. All are marine with organ system level of organization. The adult Echinoderms are radially symmetrical but larvae are bilaterally symmetrical. They are triploblastic and coelomate animals. Digestive system is complete with mouth on the lower, ventral, side and anus on the upper, dorsal side. The most distinctive feature of echinoderms is the presence of water vascular system which helps in locomotion, capture and transport of food and respiration. An excretory system is absent. Sexes are separate. Reproduction is sexual. Fertilization is usually external. Development is indirect with free swimming larva. Examples, asterias, starfish, echinus, sea urchin, antidon, sea lily, Cucumaria, sea cucumber, and Ophiura, brittle star. The 4th of February 2010 phylum, Hemicordata. Hemicordata was earlier considered as a subphylum under phylum Chordata, but now it is placed as a separate phylum under non Chordata. Hemicordates have a rudimentary structure in the collar region called stomachord, a structure similar to notochord. This phylum consists of a small group of worm-like marine animals with organ system level of organization. They are bilaterally symmetrical, triploblastic and coelomate animals. The body is cylindrical and is composed of an anterior proboscis, a collar and a long trunk, figure 4.15. Circulatory system is of open type. Respiration takes place through gills. Excretory organ is proboscis gland. Sexes are separate. Fertilization is external. Development is indirect. Examples, Balanoglossus and Circaglossus. The fourth. <laughs>